Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to speed up your Firefox web browser. So if you've been using Firefox for a while, you'll probably notice that it has slowed down a little bit and it's just not performing the same as it used to when you first started using it. All right, and that's, you know, that's common with all browsers, uh, most if not all, right? And it definitely um, affects Firefox as well. So these are just a few tips and tricks, in my opinion, that you can do to definitely speed up your browser experience and make sure that it's running as new as possible. So the first thing what you want to do is make sure there's no updates available. If there are any updates, update your browser to the latest version and you know keep it always updated. So one way you'll notice is that you the hamburger sign on the top right side right this menu option uh, if there is an update available it'll show you like an arrow here or something uh, that's one way to check it the other way to check it is manually you can click this uh, open the drop down select help and then select about firefox so this pop-up will show you if there is an update available or not so you'll see you can see over here my firefox is up to date so no update is needed for me and i have the latest version all right so let's close that off the second thing what you want to do is free up any unused memory. So you can go to about colon memory, right? And over here, you'll see these options. It's like a weird looking screen, right? And these are the options um, about your memory. So first, what you want to do is press load, uh, measure, I should say. And this will just show you some memory that you have already on your computer, okay? So you can definitely just go through that i mean you don't really need to go through it that's you probably won't re even understand it really but when you click that then you want to do free memory go to this sec section and then select minimize memory usage so this basically will clear up the memory right um and especially the memory that you don't need so and it will whatever memory you have it'll just minimize that pretty much okay so you know, this definitely should help your browser speed up. If it doesn't, then it, it could be that you, your, your computer doesn't have enough RAM, right? And if your computer doesn't have enough RAM, it's best to stick to only a very few number of tabs at once because the more tabs you start having, the slower your browser starts to get, uh, especially if you don't have a lot of RAM, okay? So just keep that in mind. So step three, what you want to try is starting your browser in safe mode. And to do that, we'll click this drop down menu on the right hand side and go to help again. And this time we'll select restart with add ons disabled. So I'm not going to restart it just because I'm in the middle of the, I guess this video, but it, it should, once you select it, um, it'll ask you, once you press restart, it'll ask you to, it'll ask you another pop-up, do you want to start it in safe mode or uh, do you just want to refresh Firefox? So you want to select start in safe mode, okay? And basically what safe mode is, is it starts it in a, I, I guess it starts it in a mode where there's no add-ons or no themes or no plugins or anything like that. So it's very basic. And if you do see a major improvement from this after doing safe mode, you could kind of guarantee that, you know, there is some kind of plugin or theme or something of that sort that's slowing down your browser experience. So, you know, that being said, next, what you would want to do is disable any add-ons that you don't need. So, if you did see a major improvement from the previous side, from the previous method, the safe mode one, then you can kind of guarantee that it is one of your add-ons, right? So let's go to the menu again and click add-ons. And over here, you'll see on the left-hand side extensions. So I only have two that are enabled. Um, I might have a few more that might be disabled. I'm not sure, but these are the two that I have. Um, I normally do keep it to as minimal as possible. You know, um, I, I understand some certain cases, you know, depending on what you're doing, you might need more plugins, but, you know, definitely try to keep it limited to a very small amount because when you have plugins, uh, starting the browser itself, it has to load all those plugins. So that will add some time to it. And not only that, every time it loads a page, depending on what plugin you have, it could slow down that experience as well. So if you have a plugin that changes certain text in every web page, 
you probably will know that it's going to slow down your web experience because you know when you load a page it's going to have to parse through that page first you know change whatever it needs to change and then it's going to show it to you okay so that could be for that or i know some people use plugins for themes so for example dark mode you know there i believe there's some plugins that enable dark mode on like every website which in my opinion is really not even worth it and it doesn't look good at all so definitely just don't even do that but aside from that just um, uninstall or disable the plugins you don't need and as well as themes okay so you just want to stick with the default right you can stick with the dark I guess disabled but you know all these crazy ones just take that into consideration it could and it might slow down your browsing experience and especially if yours is really bad to begin with you might not want to do that in the first place all right Next, what we want to do is uh, disable uh, or clear any cache and cookies, okay, and as well as the history since we're there. So go to the drop down once again and click on options. All right, since we're here, click privacy and security, scroll down, and you can see over here cookies and site data. Your stored cookies and site data and cache are currently using 1.1 1 .1 gigabyte of disk. So you want to click clear data, make sure you have both of these selected and press clear. So I'm not going to do that right now, but um, you want to do that, right? And then if you keep scrolling down your history, clear history, and just basically have all these selected, the top ones, uh, this is up to you. Um, you know, if you really want to make sure it starts working again, then yeah, by all means go click these and make sure to select everything not just the past hour or day or something so select everything and then press ok so that will just clear up all the history and all the data and stuff in the background that you really don't need so you can uh, get rid of that all right so that should also slightly help uh, next thing what you want to try is blocking trackers so that's also on this page as well and you can see over here browser privacy and then tracking protection it has tracking protection so you want to set it to strict okay so this will basically disable all third-party cookies and you know it's basically any detectors or any trackers um, it'll just completely stop them so you know this is useful but it can cause some issues on certain websites so you can even see I think they have a um, disclaimer here uh, this setting may cause some websites not to display content or work correctly so yeah you if you, you might want to try this and then you know if a website is messed up then switch it to standard it's pretty easy to switch switch it to standard and then loading it there and then going changing it back to this um, I just keep it to standard my I never really had that big of an issue where I needed to switch it to strict All right so um, standard works best for me okay so next what you want to do is turn off hardware acceleration so by default hardware acceleration is selected right um, it's in the settings as well but on under general it should be under performance let's see where it is right here performance so uh, it's selected you use recommended performance settings so you want to turn that off and then use hardware acceleration when available uncheck that okay so that's basically won't so it, it's going to use that basically means that when you need it it's going to use more computing power to i guess load whatever it's trying to load you know that could be good but it also could be bad since your, if your computer doesn't have that power it could just slow down the whole computer and just you know basically cause things to like crash and just a pretty bad experience overall but um you know i normally keep it open uh keep it enabled because i have enough computing power as well as ram so i really don't have um, any issue with that all right so those in my opinion were the seven different steps you can try to speed up your firefox you know um, if you're looking for another browser like Chrome or Edge or anything I do have videos on that as well so definitely check that out check those out also you know um, I hope this got this helped if you have any question or comments please leave them down below if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time peace